Hello everyone, this is Sylvie with Sun and Moon Energy and I'm going to get right into it. Um, so I was getting this, um, something kept coming through that song, I should have looked up what it was but I immediately just went to my cards, oh wow, <laughs> that's really interesting, so the moon just popped out. I was getting this song. Um, I don't know, it's something about she's an evil woman, she's a devil woman, um, and then when I was doing like just a quick little pre-shuffle of the cards, um, the moon was definitely lurking, um, nothing really like jumped out or anything, but I didn't do like a full on pre-shuffle, um, so that's really inter interesting because that just works with what I was getting, I was just getting something like, just feeling this sort of like very mysterious, maybe even shady vibe, um, but like a hidden, something hidden, hidden energies, basically. Um, so yeah, this is just a general energy read, general energy read. And we're starting off with the moon. Nice. And oh wow, interesting, the five of swords came out. General energy here. King of cups at the bottom. Huh. And then the death card. Wow, some really intense energy there. Could just be as simple as just, um, I always kind of look at this card as like almost like um, a regenerative card, even though the Five of Swords is kind of like self-sabotage, um, you know, a uh, card of uh, definitely of struggle. Almost like, um, you know, here it's like we see the sword cutting this worm. You know, worms can, when you cut them, they can regenerate, you know. So, like, it gives me this very, like, especially here next to this death card. I feel like this is, like, after coming out of this, like, not, like, this maybe dark time or, like, when things weren't really, like, clear on, like, what... I'm almost getting this is, like, on what you're... And this has been coming out a lot in the cards, but unlike your true self and your inner your inner desires, I think maybe you're finally coming um, coming to the surface here. And maybe this is even cutting out some things about yourself and um, starting over, you know? New, new identity, almost, I'm getting here. Uh, tell me more, spirits. One more card here. This energy is really, though, it's like, thank you. Oh, and the three of pentacles. Beautiful. It's like a dark energy, but not necessarily, it's more like on the mysterious side, not so much on the, um, on a negative or, uh, dark evil side. Judgment, Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a very, and here with this Three of Pentacles, it's like doing the hard work, getting to the highest, you know, the highest mountain peak there, you know, doing the climb. It's like, I feel like everything is coming together. I just kind of got that in my head, like everything's coming together here. So maybe with this, you know, finally coming out here, it's almost like coming out of the darkness. Yeah, what did I say? Yeah, it's almost about like making a decision. It's like you have to, it's like changing, you know, making a decision to be, either get rid of some characteristics or personality traits about yourself or just really like flipping your identity, you know, shape shifting, identity shifting, really, um, is a very interesting thing. And that's definitely what I'm getting here. That's definitely the energy here. And this can really apply to anybody. Take this how that, you know, if this, yeah, I'm not, right now I'm not even getting any sort of like masculine or feminine energy here. This is very ambiguous energy here. Very ambiguous. Interesting. I like it though. I'm not necessarily, look, and then we have the star at the bottom of the deck really beautiful with the empress and the hangman wow 
and the Nine of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles was poking out during the pre-shuffle. Yeah, I'm definitely, like I said, I think this is... Again, it's like, you know, I've done so these readings now, and a lot of it is about, you know, changing and, and leveling up and coming into your, you know, your real true self, like really feeling like, like, you know, you know who you are, you know your identity and like what you, what it is that like drives you and that, you know, you, you need to thrive. What your place is, where you're, you know, you feel most comfortable. All right, so I'm gonna... Really interesting energy. Like I said, I did a quick little pre-shuffle, but not too much. Clarify the moon card, please. Thank you. Clarify the moon card. I feel like this is definitely like the energy that was starting off with the moon. It's this very, I mean, it's not a negative energy. It's almost like this comforting energy of being able, it's night vision. It's being able to see at night. This is like clarity, especially look, we have the star here. It's like, it's illuminated, you know, the path is illuminated. You know, if you're trying to climb some mountain here. We definitely have some air energy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, that five of wands just wants to keep coming out. Like every friggin' reading. This page of wands too. The fool. Another death card here. This is almost I'm getting with this flying out like that and not even like it like went that way. I'm almost getting this is like just a general like outside energy. This five of wands. Some people might not really you know they might be trying to keep you stuck in some sort of like just make sure everything is in this is too bright like you're in some sort of negative mind mindset I almost feel like that could also just be you like tired of the struggle too you know like who who isn't you know tired of that you know, don't want to feel like we have to, like, even, like, constantly be watching exactly, watching our back. You know, yeah, I feel like this is almost, like, getting, like, some type of, like... I don't know if it's a work-related thing. King of Wands. Another Two of Swords. Look at this. But then the Sun. Hmm. You know, I had that other kooky reading that was, like, definitely felt like to me some type of, like, family, heavy, you know, like a custody battle, divorce, something like that. I mean, this could, wasn't the energy I was getting previously, but, um, I'm just getting heavy, like, heavy, having to make heavy decisions here. I mean, look, we have the Two of Swords, this Justice card here. It's really interesting, you know, I keep talking about like the red, you know, the cloak and everything. And look how one person here has like red pants on, you know, it's like that divinely protected thing. This person does have like a little bit of red, but like how justice here is like total red cloak. And then I love how the King of Wands has like this cloak of fire. I almost get it now. It's kind of, I'm almost seeing like, yeah, it's almost, this could just be like, some type of work related thing or just as far as, how you get your money something having to do with how you take care of yourself you know the Emperor wanted to peek out before and I almost feel like it was attached to these cards 
king, the emperor, the high priestess, that five of pentacles with the six of wands. Yeah, I'm almost like getting, yeah, like somebody wants to keep you stuck or something. There's like that energy, it's almost like, is it like this, it's like this jealous energy or something. I don't really like that. Why the Five of Swords? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, looking for something new here, for sure. Again, like I said, I think it's somebody who... It's like identity shifting. Another card for the Five of Swords, please. That really flipped around. Yeah, another three of pentacles. So we have two three of pentacles. We'll look at another the six of pentacles here. I think there was a six of pentacles. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but um This is really telling me I just feel like this is something work related and you're just totally making a huge decision here to like whoa to move move away from something. Yeah, the eight of wands came out when I right after I said that. Yeah, so definitely some some movement here, some fast movement. Why the death card? Why the death card? What more can you tell us about the death card? I do feel like this is your wow. That card just really wanted to somehow come out. Yeah, this is very fast, passionate energy here. It's almost like... You know, it's like coming out of the ocean like a new person here. I'm getting. It's like a major transformation. A fast, you know, it's like some type of... Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords kind of popped out. Alright, why that Three of Pentacles there? I feel like, wow, that's too many cards, but the Ace of Pentacles was at the top. Can't hate on that. I still am feeling like this is just some sort of... Wow, yeah, like... I was going to say climb to the top, and that's kind of almost like, look, the Ten of Wands here, you've been like walking this great distance with all these wands. It's like your craft, you know, and like having to like almost feel like you're having to like fight off people, like with this card here, you know, and this energy, it's almost like this, it's this sneaky deaky energy, like fighting off people, maybe like... You know, people might be, like, you know, stealing other people's ideas at work or, like, trying to, like, get other people fired. I mean, that stuff definitely happens, unfortunately. Um, but, like, I'm getting here, it's, you know, definitely, like, a still feeling that, like, new, moving away from that. Definitely feeling that more moving away from it, I mean, my, or might be currently having to make that decision and wondering if that's going to be the right decision to do, you know, that two of swords there at the end. Yeah, six of cups and the strength card. Yeah, I mean, you don't really need to say much more than, right? It's like knight of wands, the fool. Yeah, d another death card. Again, the death card just keeps popping out with that one right there too. I really feel like this is saying, you know, the Six of Cups has been coming out so much. I think it was in the last read. <clears throat> and it's like, I think it's more about like, oh, past love coming back. I think this is like really more about like what is near and dear to you. Like what's really the most important thing. What's going to truly make you happy at the end of the day when we're talking about, you know, what you do um, career wise or, um, you know, that nature, job, you know, employment, whatever, you know, like that. Is going to bring you the most fulfillment and it's also going to bring prosperity too i mean look all these cups are like 
connecting. The sun is out. Everything's beautiful. Everybody's feeling good. And, you know, with the strength card here and the Knight of Wands, it gives me this and the Fool card. It's like this creative, passionate energy. And it's been coming through a lot in the cards. When we have two, three of um, pentacles here, it's very... It's like when it came out before, remember, it's like this person is so focused on their craft. They're such a hard worker, you know, and they've been like waiting for their time to come in, for their ships to come in. You know, they've worked really hard for this and they've probably had to fight off some like, you know, not so great people here, you know, and maybe you've even like, you know, put themselves on the line in order to like save face maybe at work with this card a little bit here too having to take the fall for certain things maybe that weren't really your responsibility at work but that's so how it happened and and I get with this card here it's just like I feel like it's a new beginning with that two of swords you really want something that's you know and along the lines with like what have you've always wanted to kind of do you know maybe since you were a kid one more card for the two of swords please the tower just almost flipped out. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if the tower card came out here. Because I do feel like with two death cards, it's like there's definitely got to end the moon, you know. Some major transformative energy here. Another card for the two of swords. Thank you. Appreciate you so much. And I just want to take this moment here too. Like, for those of you that have been watching and subscribing, I really, really appreciate you. Um, and then the four pentacles came out. Interesting. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> it's almost like, like I said, it's like you have to make a choice. And the two choices are staying, like, going and doing what you really want to do. Or just, like, staying in this other position that's just, like, this person doesn't look happy. It's like somebody else has control. And so I'm really feeling like, yeah, this is just talking about, you know, having to make a choice. And I really feel like it's a, it's a business choice. And with this hangman under here and the empress card and the star, you know, the moon, I'm almost feeling like too, it's like saying like, yeah, you really have to kind of go with your gut here and what you really, you know, what, you, you've already thought so long about this because this is like, again, I think this is something that you've wanted for such a long time, you know, like since maybe like you were a teenager or something. All right, so any advice? Woo! <laughs> Look at the star card. I'm just peeking out there too again. So try to put the star card away, but it said, nope, I'm coming back out. And I think that's just, it's just illuminating everything. You know, I think things are really going to come to light in just like how, how much you're worth, you know, like shine bright, you know, like people are going to notice, like no more like being in the background here. Then the way too it came out on that three of pentacles, I feel like, yeah, look, the ten of cups, beautiful. Yeah, it's like everything, king of swords and the seven of wands. Yeah, just to have the courage to like be really like adamant about you know who you are and what your worth is. Look, another six of cups at the bottom of the deck here. Stay true to yourself. That's what I'm really hearing. Stay, stay true to yourself. And so going back to before I end, I'm going to end with this because this is really beautiful energy here. This is just like so beautiful. The ten of cups with the star, it's like you're good, you know? But when I was opening with that whole with that song, like, Evil Woman, Devil Woman, whatever that song is, um, I almost, like, now think that that's maybe, like, yeah, if this is, like, a work thing, it could be somebody that you work with that's just, like, trying to 
undermine you a little bit here. There could be a little bit of jealousy, you know, maybe trying to like get your position changed at work or something or get, you know, that could also be with the death card here, you know. But I'm definitely feeling at the end of the day, you know, you're shining here with the Ten of Cups, so nothing to worry about. Um, but just, you know, you know, keep, make sure you have your, you know, you're fully aware, like here even, you know, you see what's going on ahead of here, you know, um, and here with the Seven of Swords, you know, just being cautious, but this is beautiful energy, definitely going to be ending on a high note here with that, with that Ten of Cups and the Star card. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!